what a man, how anyone could ever hunt oh, one of those, I, I mean, they're just too magnificent. You I just, know, just beautiful. <laughs> well, there is a lot of summer fun happening at the zoo. Allie Wagner is there live checking out all the fun the zoo has to offer, including mm -hmm. some memorable sights that you will never ever forget, right Allie? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're going to forget this guy anytime soon. Hi bud. I uh, know these are not food, but we have some tickets. So if you want a family four pack of tickets, you can go to the KUSI News Instagram, like the photo of me with them on there and you will be entered to win. So that's something fun you can do so you can come and hang out with these guys. And I have Lisa who's with us here this morning. So tell me a little bit about this rhino here. Well, this rhino is Maza. He's our greater one horned rhino. You can find those in Southeast Asia, and he is about 4,000 pounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, light guy. Yeah, he's got a little bit of growing to do. You know, they're not sexually mature till they're about six, eight years old, so a couple thousand more pounds to go. No way, really? Yes, indeed. 6,000 pounds is not um, unusual for a greater one horn rhino. Wow, and he is so cool. So we're actually um, kind of behind the scenes, but this is actually an area that you can come to. Absolutely. Your ticket, you can also purchase an opportunity to take part of the Animals in Action program, mm -hmm. which uh, Maza here participates in as well. And he does a great job of representing his uh, uh, other counterparts of rhinoceros yeah. and making sure that everybody is aware that these guys are endangered and that we need everyone's help to be allies for conservation with us. Yeah, we've definitely gone and seen Edward and Future, of course, up there at the Safari Park, you know, all part of the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance and the work that you guys are doing. Absolutely. It's also very important. I mean, as soon as we can, uh, our, our goal is obviously to try to bring the northern white rhino back and onto this planet Earth. And, and we are making great strides up at the safari park. And Maza here is a great reminder for folks that come to the zoo. So if you're here for a summer nights or a nighttime zoo, you can see Maza if you get a ticket to Animals in Action. Yeah, and of course, he is the one that you see around the giraffes over here, so you can always come and see him. But like you said, Nighttime Zoo is going on, just part of the summer fun. So what can people expect when they get to come hang out here at the zoo until 9 p.m.? Well, you can expect lots of fun. You can expect lots of outdoor fun with the family, seeing the animals during the day. But if you stay till 9 o'clock, you'll see them after dark. And that's not something everybody gets a chance to do. And some of the animals are actually more awake as the sun goes down. So that's a great opportunity to catch them while they're up. Yeah, not to mention entertainment, shopping, food. I mean, you guys have it all here. Absolutely. Our gift shops will be open until you leave throughout the gates. We've got snacks for everyone. We have actually some sit-down restaurants, which you might find a great sit-down meal to have as well. Beverages for little ones, beverage for big ones as well. So it's all a great time out here at the zoo. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now before we go, uh, Maza's been chowing down over here. I just want to comment. So um, how much food, like he's got to eat a lot a day if he's trying to gain 2,000 pounds. <laughs> and he tries his best. We feed him a diet of two different kinds of grasses. He also gets a pelleted diet. And the snacks that he's getting right now are treats, but they do contribute. So he, he does do uh, some pretty good damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Absolutely beautiful, you guys. So neat to hang out with Maza today. I mean, it's a rough life. Uh, I'll be here two, two inches from the, from the rhino. Back over to you guys. Yeah, I noticed you're not putting cool. your hand in that mouth. <laughs> Uh, Allie, can you ask Lisa I, you about... You know what, but his teeth are, you know. That's what I, that's what I was going to yeah. ask. If you could ask Lisa about the teeth, because you can see there's like two incisors on the bottom, but it doesn't look like he has much... I mean, you would think the teeth would be a little yeah. scarier his, looking, but I don't even see You'd teeth. think his teeth would be bigger or there would be more of them. Well, they're herbivores, so those teeth that he has in the back of his mouth are really primarily used for grinding the uh, leaves and branches that he eats. He doesn't have incisors, which is why it's easy for our wildlife care specialists to hand feed him. Um, the tusks that they do grow in their uh, mouths would be used in the wild for, you know, fighting and displays of that nature. But here, he doesn't need to use them for any of that. Yeah. There you go, Lauren. Good question. Inside. Really cool. Wow. I've never gotten to see inside of a rhino's mouth, so. Boy. Thanks. Now you have. <laughs> thank, thank you to Maza for letting us. I'm uh, a, it's just drooling on get me. Get so <laughs> up close and personal. Yeah. All right. I know. Thanks, right. Allie. Hi, Enjoy. Bud. Don't eat my hair. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Yikes.